Hey, what is up guys? It's Tech you here back with a video and today guys we're gonna be go ahead and looking at whether or not you should update your iPad Air 2 to the iOS 12 betas. Note that I'm currently running iOS 12 beta 3, so the Geekbench scores will change as the betas go. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Starting off, when you first update to iOS 12 on the iPad, you should see that the time and date are now both on the left side, and there's nothing in the middle similar to an iPhone 10. And because of this, the Wi-Fi symbol is now also put to the right. So instead of swiping up to access the control center, you now swipe down from the left corner. Again, similar to the iPhone 10, you can still access multitasking by swiping up, but the control center is not there anymore, obviously, because you now swipe from the top corner. Some of these stock apps such as Stocks and FaceTime have been completely redesigned with FaceTime now supporting group FaceTime and small redesigns for iMessage. There's also now a completely new stock app for the iPad which is Voice Memos which have been on the iPhone for years now but I guess they just decided to add it. Uh, finally there's also Screen Time in which I don't use too much but it's just there if you are curious of what apps you spent too much time on. Finally, let's talk about performance. Starting off with the CPU performance, I had a single core score of 1,806 and a multi-score of 4,391 on iOS 11.4.1. However, on iOS 12 beta 3, I had a single core score of 1,842 and a multi-score of 4,493, 2% higher than iOS 11. For the GPU, I had a score of 7,787 on iOS 11 and a score of 7,859 on iOS 12, roughly a 1% increase. So in conclusion, even though the performance increase isn't that crazy, I am glad that the scores at least did not decrease, which means that you will not lose any performance updating to iOS 12. Nonetheless, there are occasional bugs in the betas, but so far I think iOS 12 is pretty stable, and with more betas to come, it should eventually become even better. So unless you do not prefer the new gestures for iOS 12, I think you'll be totally fine updating it on your iPad Air 2. Alright so guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I have been pretty busy lately, which means that posting schedules will be held back to once a week, but expect more videos coming soon. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, and if you would like to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe. Uh, that is it for today's video, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.